Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. We are in the process of bench testing a couple of these OC Day 60 amp brushless waterproof uh, ESCs or electronic speed controls. We, we bought four of these off of eBay for around 14 bucks a piece. Now uh, we were we've got our ECX Ruckus two-wheel drive on the bench here. Before we had this Ghoul RC uh, 60 amp um, ESC, uh, also a combo actually. Uh, I shouldn't say also, but a combo. The motor here is also from Ghoul RC. They're pretty much almost identical to the OC Day units. You can you can see a couple of the differences uh, in in our playlist uh, for our. Uh, in our previous video there, but um, the previous owner uh, we, of this Ruckus installed the Ghoul RC. We were interested in it because you can get the combo for like 40 bucks, the, the speed control and the motor. Um, so uh, that's why we bought this truck and uh, the previous owner also soldered on a, a Traxxas connector here. Stock from the factory, it comes with a Dean's connector or a T-type connector or T-connector. So we're going to go ahead and bench test these. Now we um, the speed controls themselves, you pretty much uh, order it directly from China. It comes in a plastic bag like this and, and some you know, protective wrapping for shipping, but you know, it took, uh, took a couple of days to get to us. Um, it comes with uh, an instruction set, um, or instruction sheet, rather. Um, there is actually no way to program this speed control without the programming card, and we didn't order one of these. Um, so the way that you you set even the uh, the maximum throttle and the uh, the neutral is um, This line in the instructions here uh, you should hear a beep beep when you turn on the ESC and then another beep beep when it, the throttle is in the neutral position so We didn't hear the the second beep beep when we um when we uh, first powered this up here. So I'm just gonna make sure our throttle is at neutral. On our controller here, turn that on. We've just got a smaller LiPo here plugged in just for bench testing purposes. Okay. So I heard that first beep beep. Let me try that again. Okay, I guess that was two beep beeps. <laughs> Anyways, since the, it's not going forward, I'm going to assume that that was, um, you know, if, 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 it, if, it, if the controller was off neutral, the, the wheels would have started spinning there. So I think this is pretty good. I think this test out. Let's, let's check the maximum throttle. Oops. I should get this cable out of the way here. Tire. Alright, so we can get you know, some good throttle there. There's the brake. There's the reverse. Alright, so this ESC looks good. Um, the instructions, according to the instructions, they also give you the default setting. So by default, the low voltage cutoff is set to 3.1 volts. That's the highest setting. Uh, the the three start modes, uh, so the punch, right? Uh, how aggressive that acceleration kicks in. Uh, there's three, so soft and very aggressive, and default is medium. Uh, so I guess it's soft, medium, and very aggressive. And then maximum brake force is set by default to 25%. All right, looks like they've got different um, for the 60 amp version, which is for the 60 amp version, which we have, you have 50, 25, 75, and 100 percent. I'm not sure why those are out of order, but um, oh, th that's probably the order when you have the lights and whatnot set. All right, so maximum reverse force default value is 25 percent. I think we're good with all these. Neutral range 9 percent, 6 percent, and 12 percent. Default is 9, so narrow. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Neutral range. I'm, I'm assuming that that's the uh, the range that uh, the um, that doesn't make sense. 
Anyways, not sure exactly what neutral range means. Um, besides range of neutral. Uh, so we'll go ahead and turn this off here and try the other ESCs. So of course, first we'll plug the battery. We'll turn off our transmitter. Um, we'll unplug the servo lead and the, the motor leads, the three motor leads. All right. And we'll set this over to our right so that we remember that we tested it. So I'll, I'll pop in a second one here. Again, connecting the motor leads and we're just bench testing these to make sure that they function properly. So these have four millimeter bullet connectors. They're slightly larger than the three and a half millimeter bullet connectors you'll find on Traxxas um, brushless vehicles with the Valenion system. So just be aware of that. Uh, in case you're trying to run one of these with a Traxxas motor. Um, all right, so we'll plug this up here. All right, so I heard one beep. Oh, probably because my radio isn't on. So by default, it is switched on too. So remember that when you first get this, make sure that it's in the off position. I right, spoke over it so I can hear it again. Okay, there we go, there's two beeps. All right, so we'll test this one to maximum throttle. There we go. Brake, reverse. All right, so the second one tests out, at least on the bench. Now we're gonna throw these into a variety of our vehicles. Um, and see how well these these fourteen dollar ESCs do. All right, so there's number two there. Just wanted to bench test these all while we had our ruckus um, partially disassembled here, or rather after removing that Ghoul RC ESC. All right, so just again plugging in the various motor connectors. If you find out that the motor isn't running in the right direction uh, with these brush brushless motors, you simply switch over, um, switch out to the connector. So let's say it was running in reverse, I would just take you know orange and yellow and swap them. Um, these brushless ESCs are pretty cool because, and I forgot to turn off the, uh, oh, my radio is already on, fortunately, but I'll always make sure that the ESC is off to begin with. Okay. This guy is good as well, and we'll definitely put these through more rigorous testing when we're actually bashing these trucks. So the first truck that we'll actually run this in will be this brushless ruckus. Um, the second truck, I don't know, we've got tons of these. Um, actually, there was a mistake when we ordered these ESCs. It was incorrectly described in the eBay description um, as a, a combo. So um, we're going to go ahead and email the or message the seller there because we don't have enough motors to run these with. All right, so this is the last of our four. Oh, I forgot to turn it off again. So we started with, with the ESC turned off always. Got our radio still on. All right, Get, make sure everything's clear. Okay, so we got two beeps there. It's a neutral. All right, so close on the floor. We're good. Turn off the ESC, unplug the battery. All right, so the preliminary tests look good. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks again for watching.